Since the Titanfall beta is in the wild, there's a lot of new information. Let's go over it. Yes. What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at you. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing fan tiddlyastic. Today, I wanted to cover more of the recent Titanfall news that we've gotten since the beta. Since there has been a few that have had early access to the beta, there's been people playing the beta since yesterday morning, I've noticed, and uh, we've gotten a, quite a bit of new information, so I thought I would share that with you. So let's start off first with the download size of Titanfall for the PC version. Someone uh, uploaded a screenshot to Twitter and it is 12.38 gigabits in size from Origin for the PC version. That's, you know, that's not, that's kind of probably average in my opinion. I've downloaded some 16 gig games through Steam and some, you know, 4 gig games. So 12.38 is not too bad. Just hopefully you have a decent download rate so that you can download the game uh, within a reasonable amount of time. And let us not forget, that's just the beta download. Who knows how big the game will be. It could be, you know, there was rumors that Xbox One games are 30 gigabits in size. So, you know, the end game could be uh, 30 gigabits in size, you know, or larger or a little smaller. The 12.38 the gig is just the beta. Keep that in mind. All right, now moving on to the other information we received, it's about burn cards. And burn cards are similar to perks, but you only get to activate it once, and it goes away once you die. The, you know, they can range from, you know, st uh, statistic buff, like maybe improving or speeding up how fast you run, and it can also be up to, like, a new secondary weapon. So, you know, the, the burn cards vary in, their, in what they are. Um, like I said, you can only use one at a time, and you can equip it at the beginning of the match or in between deaths. And you can only you can equip it. You can use burn cards three times throughout the entire match. Respawn has also let us know that they will be supporting private matches. Uh, I know the esports community, you know, is kind of up in arms that there's not much uh, way in the. In the, you know, for competitive gaming because there's no private matches, so you really can't uh, get together and have like a clan versus clan or squad versus squad match. So Respawn has tweeted out that they will be adding private matches down the road. And then uh, let's talk about the game modes. So there's two game modes in the, uh, I'm sorry, three game modes in the beta, and they are Attrition, Hardpoint Domination, and Last Titan Standing. Attrition is basically TDM, Team Deathmatch. If you're familiar with other first-person shooters like Call of Duty or Crisis, you know, it's basically Team Deathmatch. The first to the score limit wins the game. Hardpoint Domination is basically you capture and hold three hardpoints. Uh, it takes longer to capture an enemy-owned hardpoint. Uh, you have to make sure first the hardpoint is neutral, and then you're able to capture it. Of course, if there's any enemies around the hard point, you won't be able to capture it. You have to eliminate them first in order to start capturing the hard point. Um, so it's basically like domination. If you're familiar with Call of Duty domination, um, spears, you know, from Crisis Three, uh, that type of game type. And then the last one is Last Titan Standing. Now this one's really interesting because every single person in the match has a Titan. The goal is to eliminate all Titans and/or pilots in order to win the game. And it's round based, just like Search and Destroy from Call of Duty. So there's no respawning within each round. So once you die within the round, you don't respawn until the round is over. And the best of five is going to win, you know, the whole match. So there's five different rounds, and the best of whoever wins the most matches out of the five rounds wins the game. Uh, and then the last thing is about the maps there's Angel City and Fracture. Now it's kind of nice that they added two different uh, map types in the in the beta. The first Angel City is obviously more kind of um, 
close combat, maybe not necessarily close combat, but it's more confined. You're in a city, so there's, you know, a lot of alleyways, um, a lot of buildings, you know, the, the pilots can, can run along the rooftops, um, you know, and look down on the battlefield, and, you know, so it's more, it's more confined. Then you go to the total other end of the spectrum, with the, which is Fracture, and that's a completely open map. Um, you know, less buildings. There are some for pilots to hide out in. You know, so Fracture is going to be dominated in the open by the Titans because it's a, a much more open map. Whereas Angel City, it's going to be tougher for the Titans to move around. So, you know, that's about all the information I have for you guys. While, while I'm creating this commentary, I actually literally just received my beta code for PC. So I'm super excited. I just need to, <laughs> to render this out and then uh, boot out or uh, um, log off of my Linux machine and boot into Windows and start installing the beta. So I'm super excited. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already because I'll have plenty of Titanfall information. Um, follow me on Twitter to get notified you know, of what's going on with Ubu, the tech guru. And that's about all I got for today, guys. Until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out. <laughs>